Here's Brody Brazil. Training camp, when you when you show up this year, I mean, it's it's same in the sense that you're wearing a Sharks jersey and there are some of the same people, but I would expect training camp this year to feel more different than similar to last year. Would you agree? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. In, in what ways are you looking forward to this? And how? Like, what, what do you expect it to be like? Um, new coach, new coaching staff, new general manager, uh, a handful of a, really a lot of new teammates surrounding you. What do you expect that to be like when you're when you're starting? You're not entirely new, but you're starting a new page. Yeah, for sure. I think that you know something that's that's been evident since um, you know Greer came in was high compete, high energy. Um, you know, that's something I'm trying to bring every day and, and, and work again to, to increase the motor speed that you can go at and uh, make sure every shift is, is hard, competitive, you know, here to compete. So I, I think it's going to start, you know, from day one and of training camp and, and hopefully push through uh, throughout the season. You know, from the fan perspective, and you, you probably know this going back with the Sharks as you do. I mean, they're usually in the playoffs year after year. And right now, sitting on three straight years on the outside looking in, that's it's never happened before. And it is abnormal. What do you think gets the San Jose Sharks back to the playoffs? Yeah, I think it's it's you know a, a team team environment, right? Of of competing every night, showing up with your best, um, you know, working hard. Obviously, it's uh, eighty two game season, so there's going to be ups and downs. And how can we stick together and um, push forward? And um, you know, if you're there to compete every night and you bring your best, uh, good things happen. And and I would imagine that it is encouraging and exciting, and as much as you know, nobody likes to see one of their teammates traded or this or that, but, but transition does offer new opportunities, right? I mean, there, is there a sense of kind of a blank slate for a lot of people? Yeah, absolutely. You know, nothing's given, everything's earned. Yeah. Um, when a team is built like that, you have people who come in every day and, and say, hey, how can I get better? Because um, if you can take a step forward yourself, then you're just going to be helping those around you. So Jasper, 50 NHL games under your belt last season. As you go through this summer and preparing for what's next, does it make it easier that, that you've already been to the NHL? You've already known what it's about? And maybe things are a little bit more clearer? Yeah, I think you use, you know, use experience as much as you can, right? Obviously, um, getting the opportunity to play uh, 50 NHL games and then um, you know, a bunch of AHL games as well. You, just, you use that, um, you know, use that and, and, and take it into your summer training just to be more prepared the, the next year. What is your biggest takeaway from last season, which I realize was a bit segmented for you and, and where you played and, and how it went. It wasn't all one start to finish season. Uh, what do you take away from it? Um, I mean, take away a bunch of stuff. I think some of the highlights are for me is, is how many games there are. So you've got to have your body in, in, you know, phenomenal shape to be ready to go for, um, you know, hopefully 82 and then, and then more games. That's the goal, right? To play more than 82 games in a, in a season. Um, and also just the speed and, you know, the competitiveness. Um, so I think just taking that into this, this summer and, and trying to, uh, really, you know, turn my body into a real pro body and, and then work on the little details. There's like zero easy nights huh, in the NHL and maybe not to say that there were in any other, at any other level, but that's probably really magnified, huh? Yeah, it's, it's super magnified. And I think that, um, you know, I came from college where I played, you know, 30, around 30 games, less than 30 games my right. junior year from COVID. So when you go in and you're playing every other, you know, you're playing day off, play day off, it just takes a little bit for you to get kind of acclimated to that. And I think that for me, it was a big focus of this summer is saying, okay, how can I be ready to go every night? How can I be ready to go every practice? How can I get my body to be in a state where I have, you know, more energy, more pop? So that's what I've been focusing on. 